welcome to Asset Plants Machinery. Today we're going to overview our Steelmaster Heavy Duty NC2 Industrial Press Brake. This particular model is a 135 tonne by 3.2 long, our NC2 model offering a Y and X axis controller and our NC2 widget here runs a Etson E200 NC controller. We offer this model in three different choices, we offer an S series it runs a basic Etson E20 controller. We have this one here, which is our middle of the range controller, our NC2 series, which runs the Etson E200 controller, and also our CNC model, which runs a Foldmaster CNC controller. Now, with the three models, the general build is identical, the frame is all the same. We just spec the machines up with different fittings and features to suit the customer's price range and also requirements. So today we're just focusing on our NC2 model, which is in the middle of the range, and we'll just run through some of the features. This 135 tonne, 3.2 long model, offers a 2900 frame distance between the frames, and also offers a 425 deep side throat. Fantastic for catering work, and all types of bending applications where you require a deeper throat for return bending. Nice modular guards that pivot away, We've got swivel front sheet supports, as you can see there, which can slide along a T-slotted uh, front beam. Our tooling has been specially designed by Grasset Plant Machinery, offering large bending Vs, uh, some nice Vs close to the edges, and also a over-bending V on the side there. We offer also, standard with our machines, a scalloped gooseneck top tool, which is also segmented. We have a large range of tooling here at Asset Plant Machinery uh, to suit your, your different applications from single knife tools, radius tools, the whole lot. Uh, one of the main features on our machines that our customers love uh, using is the DSP laser guards. As you can see, it's mounted to the uh, frame itself, so you, you can come right in close to the work there and do all your bending in that that's, uh, bending zone there. Our guards pivot out of the way, as we can see here. It's opening the guard up there on the side of the machine and just showing you the deep 420 side throat there. We've got LEDs illuminating the inside of the press brake itself to uh, just illuminate your, your, uh, your back area there across the front of the machine. We've got obviously safety warnings there, we've got a nice bending chart so that the operators can actually easily cross-check their materials against the Vs and see where they're going. Obviously our asset service schedule and lots of safety warnings around the machine itself. But with our DSP Italian laser guards, it is a real winner. As I said, it just enables the operator to, uh, to get enclosed from his bending application in the utmost safety. Uh, we've moved away from the old uh, frame mounted ones that were mounted to the outside of the frame here which are cumbersome and difficult to use because it would stop the operator from working in a close range that he needs to. Alright, other features on the machine, we've got a twin foot pedal operation, one for up, one for down, with an e-stop on top of course. As discussed before, we've got our Epson E200 controller. Now, our, this is a very smart controller because it's a 99 station by 25 step. It also has what we call a retract feature, so when your beam comes down, to the position, I'll just change one of these operations now, so just so we can we can bend. Um, I'm going to come down and just bend that. So she comes down, and as you can see, the laser guard comes up and down with the machine. We're running this in auto cycle right now, so I'm going to hit the bottom point and go back up again. Uh, we've got a new uh, little indicator there that show your position with your guard, top, DSP, and mute, so it's easy for the operator to actually see where the guard is. Now, to change your position, uh, simply your open position and bending speed, etc., that's located on the right hand side of the machine, too, so that's very accessible and uh, easy for the operator to set his open height and uh, change over speed from fast to slow. The arm actually gets moved to the front of the machine once it's on site, so it pivots all the way around. Uh, getting back to the controller itself, as I said, it does have a retract feature. So once your Y-axis beam comes down, pinches your material, your back gauge retracts out of the way quickly to stop any jamming. 
This will be the preferred control to use. However, as mentioned before, we do offer a, a more base model control, which is our S series that offers just a little 10 step MC control. Fantastic for just general dropping applications and fairly good ones that the customers will need, especially when they're working to a particular budget. Our controller, the pillar controller, as you can see here, has a stainless steel braided cable, braided many controls on it itself. Uh, we, safety is one of our key features here. If somebody breaks the beam, uh, we've got reset positions here that you have to go back and reset your guards. So uh, the operator is safe all the time. Let's have a quick peek in the control cabinets. Obviously we use uh, you know, Schneider Electrics, uh, all the name PLC, Siemens, etc. Uh, we also have uh, the wiring schedules there on the inside of the cabinets to see when if there's any issues on site, he can quickly go to the circuitry and uh, identify the circuit and rectify the problem with minimal fuss and guess. Okay, it has a pressure relief valve as well, so it also adds to the uh, operating feature of the machine. Now, at the back of our machines, which we decided there just a year or two ago, are open. Uh, once again, you know, we, we get a lot of feedback from our operators and end users, and uh, that's one of the um, NC2 machine offers a wall mounted ball screw back gauge, precision part and ground and very smooth in operation. LED lights behind the machine to illuminate the back area there. And uh, all our machines are pre-commissioned uh, prior to getting dispatched to Australian wide. Now, as we said before, you hear the hydraulics coming away nice and quiet. I'm just going to jump in there and break the beam. And the beam's broken. That sets the reset light there. We simply press the reset lights and it's we've got to move back to the front of the machine to start the press break up again. As I said, safety is number one in the workplace, but we've made our machines uh, simplistic in uh, design. Heavy duty road past, but uh, also they must be easy for the operator to use. Anyway, that's, uh, that's our NC2 model. And as I said, we, we offer these in a range of machines from 1320 wide, right up to 6 metres wide. And uh, the cords through the application, we stock quite a few machines in stock. And also, as said before, we have a fantastic service and backup support team. So jump on to assetplant.com or call us direct, and we'll be very happy to help you with your, your inquiry. Thanks and have a great day.